Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our first personal break of the evening. We do have one legacy football hobby box here for Curtis A from Colorado. So thank you so much Curtis for letting me open up a box of 2021 legacy for you. I hope to find you some awesome football cards to add to your collection. Now legacy football here does have two autographs per box, 16 packs per box and just eight cards per pack. Now we did open up a box this past weekend during our live stream that just had one of those legends play inserts per pack but that preview box we opened up this past Wednesday did have two per pack so this is from the same shipment that had two so I'm curious to see whether this will have two or just one of those cards per pack and of course very curious to see what autographs and of course our two Optochrome minis what will we find for those but let's go ahead and jump on into this for Curtis by snapping us into the corner let's get started here 2021 legacy now i really like the design for the rookie cards and all the inserts the more i look at the base and those legend cards i don't dislike them what i do dislike about them is the background on those cards is like pure white whereas all the inserts and the rookies are like an off-white slash kind of cream color so i don't know why panini made them two different colors Especially if you're trying to put together a set with like the base set, those Legends cards, and then all your rookies, they don't match. So I don't know why Panini did that, if that was perhaps a mistake, perhaps they didn't catch in editing, or if it was intentional. But I'm not a fan of that color difference in the background of the inserts, the rookies, and the base cards. But anyways, here we go. First pack, we do have just one Legends. Alright, so interesting to see there. Just one. And we're starting off with an Under the Lights rookie of Zach Wilson. It's not a bad base Under the Lights to find here. And I know I've mentioned this every time I see one, but these cards are very, very flat. And then we have Decade of Dominance, Peyton Manning insert. And our two rookies, Greg Rousseau and Jamie Newman at the back. And I will, as I notice... Some of the higher end rookies. Now, of course, I'm not super familiar with this new draft class just quite yet. I'm trying my best to learn as I go. So, of course, if I miss anybody that you're like, Ali, you should pull that guy off to the side and slave him, definitely let me know. But I'll be trying to pull off the top five picks and I'll slave them up and put them up here. Oh, well, there's a Trevor Lawrence, so he'll get slaved. We're starting off with a Deion Sanders Legends. Feel something poofy in this pack, so I think we have an Optochrome. Ooh, that looks like a green ice. That looks really nice. Green is my favorite color, and I love Panini Cracked Ice cards. But that's Darius Leonard here for the Colts. Green ice. Number 8 of 25. That's cool. Little number out of 25. I love it. I love Cracked Ice. I love it. Let's go ahead and get that Leonard sleeve done up. You know, I'll go ahead and put him in a top loader since he's numbered out of 25. All right, set that up top. We have For the Ages insert, Bob Lilly. And for our rookies, we have Pat Fryermuth and Trevor Lawrence. Legends, Terrell Davis. We have a rookie, silver here, Caleb Farley from the Hokies. Rookie silver, card number 178, Caleb Farley. We have Generations, Archie Manning and Peyton Manning. And of course, our two rookies at the back of the pack. Go ahead and get that Farley sleeved on up. Sean Alexander Legends. And we have a Joseph Osai here. This little burnt orange rookie. Number 41 out of 299. Rookie parallel. Rashad Bateman and Mika Parsons. This card does seem to be pretty off-centered. Interesting. There's our first numbered paper parallel of the box. This pack feels a little thick. Of course, there could be a decoy in here, but it could also be our first hit. I think it's a decoy. Kurt Warner. I, mean, I, I certainly hope it is, based on the texture down there at the bottom. Wouldn't want a hit to be all scuffed up like that. Alright, let's go check it on out. 
was just a little decoy here. Then we have Timeless Talents, Dalvin Cook, Kyle Trask, and Kyle Pitts. Now I believe should be sleeving both of those. Of course, we do ship all base, so if there's anybody that I don't sleeve, we'll get included in Curtis's package, of course. But just for keeping things neat and tidy. You know, we do have something pretty thick here, and I see foiling, so I'm wondering if this is a Futures patch auto. We did see one this past weekend, numbered out of 100. It had a pretty nice patch on it. And of course, in that preview box, I did see Trevor Lawrence, so I'm curious to see who we got here. There's Sage Surratt here. Number 105 out of 299. Ooh, Dual Relic Auto. That's cool. Sage Dual Relic Rookie Autograph. That's cool. This is number 105 out of 299. So our first Dual Relic Auto. Go ahead and grab a thick sleeve for Mr. Sage here. And that looks like a 130 point. Let's see. Does fit into a 130 point top loader. All right, very cool. So we do have our first hit of the box this is a dual relic autograph. Then we have Generations, Derek Carr, or David Carr and Derek Carr, Sean Wade, and Devonta Smith rookies. Marshall Falk. Timeless Talents. Champ Bailey. And we have a Zach Wilson rookie in the back. Got an old Tom Brady base card. Joe Burrow Bates. And a green Timeless Talents. Plaxico Barres. 23 out of 100. For the Giants. Not familiar with that player myself, but very impressive name. Go ahead and get you sleeved up. Put in our sorted chrome and numbered parallel pile. All right, looking like we're halfway through the box here, waiting on one more hit and another Optichrome Mini. Steve Largent, Legends. We have a Panay Sewell here, rookie from the Ducks. Another base chrome. Flashbacks, AJ Brown, Travis Etienne, and Ian Book, rookies. Oh, we do have a little mini here. Jordy Nelson, Legends. And it is a silver rookie, Najee Harris, from Alabama. Unnumbered, Najee Harris rookie mini. Negative dominance, Ed Reed, Nico Collins, and Christian Barmore. Let's get our Harris mini sleeved up. So I believe with that and that green ice earlier out of 25, should cover both of our Optichrome minis. However, I think out of the other two boxes we've opened this year, we've gotten three minis per box, the other one just being a base mini. So we'll see if we find that here for Curtis. We are still waiting on at least one more autograph. Which I think we may have right here. We have Najee Harris. Under the Lights Auto. That's our first Under the Lights Auto that we've seen. Rookie Najee Harris. So that's cool. A little bit of a Najee Harris themed box here. Different style auto than what we've seen so far. Each actually, I believe, has been in this style with a rookie sticker auto across. And this is our first under the lights with a matching mini to boot here for Curtis. Let me go ahead and get that sleeved on up here. From the Alabama Crimson Tide, do have Najee Harris. Unnumbered under the lights rookie auto. All right, so we've seen two new things in this box here for Curtis, a dual relic auto in the Futures style, and that under the lights insert rookie auto. 
And I like seeing what else this product has to offer. And let's see if we can get any other numbered cards in these last few packs. Do have a green here. Is a green Donald Driver, 90 out of 100 Legends for the Packers. Nice green to match the Packers uniform. Michael Strahan, Legends. Another decoy. We have flashback, Russell Wilson. Justin Fields, rookie. Get him sleeved on up. Javion Hawkins. Down to our last three packs. Harris in the back. He's everywhere. Ooh, we do have... A rookie chrome here, Patrick Sertain II, also from Alabama. That's number 2450, Patrick here. Nice and shiny. And we have Timeless Talents insert, Rodney Harrison. The G. Harris rookie. Seeing a theme here. Randy Moss. We have yellow. I haven't seen a yellow yet. That's number two of 150, Amari Cooper. That is a very bright yellow. And final pack. We have flashback to Sean Watson and our last two rookies. And that does it for this box here for Curtis. Let me move this out of the way. Straighten up our piles and then we'll do a recap. This is actually our first box that we've seen two generations inserts. The other two boxes we opened up, we both saw one. So that was pretty cool to see. Really like the design of those cards. But we did get, of course, our two hits. Both being new styles that we haven't seen before, so I like that. Did see a green cracked ice mini has been our lowest numbered mini pull. So we'll actually start our recap off with that. Did have Darius Leonard for the Colts. That card is gorgeous here. Number 8 of 25. I'm, of course, very partial to it since green is my favorite color. I'm always attracted to the green parallels. Then, since this pile is on top, did pull off some rookies. We did have Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts, and Trevor Lawrence. For our true hits of the box, we had Under the Lights in the G. Harris Rookie Silver Auto. This was unnumbered, but it an insert auto under the lights. And then the Dual Relic Auto, Sage Surratt here, Futures, number 105 out of 299. Then for our assorted chromes and parallels, and of course our other Optichrome Mini, we did have the Silver in the G. Harris. Ended up with only just two minis in this box. Under the light, Zach Wilson, Panay Sewell, Rookie Chrome, Silver, Caleb Farley, Rookie Chrome, Joseph Osai, Rookie number to 299, Green, Bretts out of 100 Talents, Green, Driver out of 100 Legends, and Patrick Sertain, number out of 50, Rookie Parallel, and Amari Cooper, Yellow out of 150. And that'll do it here for this box for Curtis. Thank you so much, Curtis, for letting me open up some more football for you here in the channel. Nice to see your name pop up again. I know it's been a little while. I think last football products Curtis mainly got with us were actually last year, I think, Phoenix and Certified Football. So it's been a little while. Nice to see you're still doing all right. Nice to have you back, Curtis. I hope you enjoyed this opening. And of course, loved all of these new additions to your football collection. All of you out there watching as well, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments are me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I do have two more personal break videos coming tonight. Up next should be pretty quick. Do have two more of those Upper Deck 2021 NHL Star Rookie box sets. 
those will be for John B. And then tonight's longest video will be our third and final one. Do have nine total boxes for Juan A, the last six of our WWE Women's Division, and three more Cardfight Vanguard Bang Dream boxes. So, have some non-sports later tonight with that TCG and the WWE. But if you're craving more sports, do have that very quick hockey opening coming up next. But before I wrap it off here and get on into those videos, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have seven Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Kirill Soltari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We do now have 13 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers D., Von Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. Thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every single video. But that does it for me here tonight on football. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!